Hi everybody! So it's a beautiful day today, which means it's also a beautiful day to move our bodies and maybe do some yoga. Now we usually do yoga at school, right? Under the tents outside on the grass, but today we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do yoga in our home, okay? So before we get started, we're doing yoga I'm gonna read you guys a book about yoga so you get more of an idea of what we're doing and then I'll come back on camera and I'll join you and we'll do yoga together okay just like in school only in our homes all right see you soon a little calm spot a story about yoga and feeling focused written and illustrated by Diane Alber namaste this word means you are saying hello or goodbye with your heart. It's used a lot in yoga. Hello, hello. My name is Calm Spot and I love yoga. What is yoga? Yoga is something you can do to help you breathe slowly and feel focused, which helps your brain relax and it makes you feel better. Sometimes Peaceful Spot forgets to do yoga, and that's where I come in to remind him. Calm Spot, I need some help here. Let's take a look at what happens when your emotions get too big and out of control. It can make you feel overwhelmed. Anxiety, anger, bored, sad, wiggly, silly, calm, focused. Notice how those red and gray lines are very tangled and jumpy. Big emotions can trick your brain into thinking that you don't have enough air. You can start to breathe super fast and that doesn't make you feel very good. It also makes it hard to find your peaceful spot. Yoga can help grow your peaceful spot to make it stronger and bigger so you can handle any big emotion that shows up. Yoga is made of three basic things, breathing, movement, and mindset. Let me show you. Since breathing is such a big part of yoga, I want to show you how to focus and breathe slowly first. To breathe in, pretend to slowly smell a flower. To breathe out, pretend to slowly blow a bubble. Now place your hands on your tummy and imagine your belly is a balloon. Every time you breathe in, smell a flower. The balloon gets bigger. When you breathe out, blow a bubble. The balloon gets smaller. This is called belly breathing. Mindset is another part of yoga. You can calm your mind by saying positive words or thinking positive thoughts. Some positive words or thoughts are, I am loved, I am kind, I am smart. I can do this. I can do hard things. Movement is the final step that ties it all together. When you move into a pose, it helps your mind focus. Let's try. Step one, breathe in to smell a flower. Breathe out to blow a bubble. Step two, move into a pose and continue to slowly breathe in and breathe out. This is a warrior pose. It can help your back get stronger so you can stand up tall. Step three, think positive thoughts. I can be like a warrior and fight off any negative thought that can enter my mind. You will notice that yoga uses lots of nature and animal poses. As you breathe out, you can make that animal sound to release energy Two, I can bring joy like a rainbow. I can be wise like an owl and look at the positive side of things. This is one of my favorite poses. It can turn into other poses very easily. 
I can be still like a table. I can be carefree like a cow. Moo! I can stretch like a cat. Meow! I can slow down like a snail and calm my energy. I can be alert like a dog. I can balance like a tree and manage my emotions. I can handle change like a butterfly. I can stand tall and confident like a mountain. I can shine bright like a star. Wow, your peaceful spots are so big and strong. I hope you will always remember what you've learned today. Namaste. Namaste. The end. Again, friends, I hope you enjoyed that little story about yoga. Okay, so before we begin, let's review. There are three different parts of yoga. One part is breathing in through our nose like we're smelling a flower and out through our mouth like we're blowing a bubble. The second part is our mindset. Always be kind to your brain and your mind. You are smart. You are kind. You can do this. The third part is moving. You move your body into different poses when you do yoga. Movement. Before we begin, I wanted to talk about this. Hmm, does anybody know what this is? Well, this is Ms. Siobhan's pink yoga mat. What shapes do you see? There's a circle shape and a cylinder. Let's see what happens when I roll it out. What shape does it become? Did you say rectangle? Yes, my yoga mat is a pink rectangle. Okay, so now I want you to find a space for you to do yoga. And everybody's going to start sitting on the floor like Miss Siobhan sitting crisscross applesauce, just like how we sit in school. Okay, so we're all sitting crisscross applesauce. Our hands are on our lap and we're sitting up super straight. There's a word that we use when we do yoga. Does anybody know what it is? Begins with letter N. Hmm. Namaste. Say it with me. Namaste. We always say namaste right before and after we do yoga. And the book told us that namaste means saying hello and goodbye with your heart. Okay, so let's begin. We rise up our arms, clap them together over our head, and bring them down to our heart. And we bow our body forward and we say namaste. Okay, I have a little helper this time. She's going to do it with us. Let's try it one more time. We rise our arms up up over our head, put them together, and we bring it down to our heart and we bow forward and we say namaste. Wonderful, let's begin. So we're all still sitting crisscross. We're sitting up super straight and our hands on our lap and we're going to breathe. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. In through your nose like you're smelling a flower and out through your mouth like you're blowing a bubble. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Remember, we're gonna try belly breathing. So put your hands on your belly and your belly's gonna be like a balloon. So you're gonna breathe in and that balloon's going to get bigger. And breathe out and that balloon's going to get smaller. In and out. In and out. Breathe in and out, in and out. Wonderful, great breathing, friends. Okay, so now we're all going to stand up and get a big stretch. Let's rise our arms up as high as we can and get on your tippy toes and wave to your ceiling or to the sky or to the sun. Hello, sun. And put your arms down and we'll rise up one more time, arms up, Wave to everything on top of you and down. And now we have to shake it out and let's say hello to the ground. We're going to do a forward fold, bend over 
and say hello to everything beneath you. Hello floor, hello yoga mat, hello ground. At school we say hello to the grass. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Forward fold, bend over. Hello floor, hello feet, hello toes. Okay, wonderful. And when you're ready, you're going to stand up. Does anybody know what this is? This is the sun. So now we're going to do our sun pose. To begin, you stand up and bring your arms up together over your head like a circle, okay? And then you can bring your arms down. And we'll try it one more time, up in a circle over your head. And you're the sun, and your arms can be the sun's rays giving off light and heat. Sun pose. Okay, and our next pose, can anybody guess? We're going to be the rain, okay? Just like our forward fold, our fingers are going to be the raindrops. So our hands are up, we're gonna be rain and bend our bodies forward, okay? Put your hands up, wiggle those fingers all the way down to the floor, and you're the rain. Let's keep trying. Wiggle your fingers all the way down into your forward fold. Okay, wonderful friends. And I wonder what our next pose is gonna be. Can anybody tell me? Flower pose. So now we're going to be flowers. This position is actually called butterflies. It's when your knees are pointing out and your feet are touching together at the bottom of your foot. But today it's going to be flower pose. So our legs and our knees are the petals of the flower and our body is the stem and our head is the flower. And right now we're just gonna take a few breaths in through our nose and out from our mouth. Nice, long, deep breaths. In through your nose like you're smelling a flower and out from your mouth like you're blowing bubbles. Okay, wonderful, great job. What's our next pose? I think this is your favorite, right? Tree pose. Now to do tree pose, we lift up one leg and we connect it to that leg that's standing tall. And with our arms, what we can do is we can clap them together over our head or bring them down towards our heart. And we have to balance. If you wanted, what you can do is you can pretend that your arms are the branches of the tree and are they blowing in the wind? Make them blow in the wind. Okay, and when you're ready, you take that other foot and you lift it up. We're gonna switch sides and do the same thing. Hands over the head or down to your heart and we balance. Now what you can do, your arms can be the branches blowing in the wind, but what season are we in? Autumn. Pretend that your hands are the leaves falling to the ground. Be a tree with leaves that are falling to the ground. And how are they falling? Are they falling gracefully like they're dancing? Are they falling super fast? Whatever you want. There's our tree pose. Now at school, we also talk about animals that live in the tree, right? What animal should we be? This one right here, right? The squirrel. Squirrels live in trees. So here's our squirrel pose. We're going to move our body down into a squat position. This is called a squat position. Pretend to be a squirrel. Squirrels have really big cheeks. You can make your cheeks really big, filled with acorns if you wanted, and breathe. <laughs> okay friends, this squirrel has one thing on her mind and it's acorns. So let's all be squirrels with an acorn in our hand. And what should we do? Let's eat that acorn, okay? Pretend to eat the acorn. Maybe you're gathering up some acorns. Be a squirrel gathering up some acorns, okay? Wonderful, great job guys. <laughs> Okay guys, Ms. Siobhan feels super tired now and very relaxed after doing all that yoga. How do you feel? Okay, so let's close out. We're all going to sit back on our bottoms, crisscross applesauce. And does anybody remember what we do first? We are going to sit up nice and tall. Our arms go up together over our head and down to our heart. 
and let's bow. And what do we say? Namaste. <laughs> Wonderful. Should we try it one more time? Okay, let's do it together one more time. Up over our head, hands together to our heart, and we bow down. And we say namaste. Wonderful. Great job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for doing yoga with me. See you soon.